Now, one of the biggest issues we face in technology's education is the fact that girls tend to disengage with technology, um, generally in middle middle school years, so early prim early sorry early secondary um, schooling. Now, there's lots of complex research that's being done to try to understand these issues and various theories and propositions. But despite quite a lot of attention being placed on it, we've yet to really reverse the trend where girls are disengaging with um, not just computer technology, but also engineering technologies and even things like architecture and so forth. Architecture's got about three or four percent of females in that profession. So there are some really big issues. And while they don't tend to manifest themselves in primary school, in primary school, girls are actually more engaged than boys. They tend to be more academically orientated earlier because they mature a little bit earlier. And so they tend to be more engaged with whatever's being taught, including technology. But that very quickly wanes after primary school. And so some of the issues that are leading up to that may be occurring in primary school. So we need to try to address this across the board. Because generally it's quite accepted that the future is going to be dominated by technology. And a lot of careers and opportunities are going to be available to those that are familiar with and engaged with technology. And if girls and women are not or becoming disengaged with technology, then they won't have access to those opportunities. So whatever we can do to reduce that impact, um, we should be exploring. Now, unfortunately, the research doesn't tell us exactly what has to happen. It's still being explored. Um, and despite 20 or so years of effort, we haven't found out what's actually the problem. We have addressed some issues around mathematics and some of the sciences where girls now are actually exceeding um, boys in their academic pursuits in those fields. But that hasn't been able to be achieved in the technologies yet. But there are a range of strategies that you can employ in your teaching that will help address um, some of the differences. And they may assist in breaking down the stereotypes and the attitudes that girls develop around technology as they enter lower secondary. So think about what you can contribute in terms of your own teaching to broaden the activities that girls engage with in learning about technologies, but also ensuring through your language and through the activities and attitudes that are expressed that girls feel that they have equal opportunities in technologies. So ensuring that any role models that you present uh, have females as well as males that are being successful and engaged with the technologies and that you don't subconsciously um, de-emphasize opportunities for girls in the technologies.